The Autodesk Validation Tool lets you create tasks to automatically check your Autodesk Construction Cloud or BIM 360 project hosted Revit models. The task table on the main page is where you manage the tasks that you have created or are currently running associated with your user account. It will show you all the completed tasks and scheduled tasks. It is filterable based on any column within the table. There is a quick search that if you start typing, it will start filtering down based on name and there is also a reload bu task button that can immediately update the status of tasks that are available in the table itself. The first column shows the status color and the word behind it will indicate exactly what is happening. This one is completed. This task is paused. And at the bottom, I have some that are scheduled to run in the future. The next column is the name of the task. This is inputted by you when you create the task. The hub and the project are where the files reside that are associated with this task. You cannot cross hubs or projects per task, but you can have different tasks that look at different hubs or projects. We can see the models that were checked here. If I have multiple selected, it will indicate that there is more than one model. The Revit version column indicates the version that the model was created in. The check set that was checked against the, um, the model is indicated in the next column. The last run column indicates the last time that this task was ran. The next run is when it was when it is scheduled, if it is to be scheduled in the future. Then I have some action buttons. I have an edit button where I can go back and edit the task. I have a pause button where I can pause future scheduling of the task. And I have a duplicate button. The duplicate allows me to duplicate this task to quickly create a similar task. If I click on the dot 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 button, this will allow me to remove the task altogether or to run the task now. To create a new task, you simply come up and pick on new task. The first thing you need to enter in is a name for this task. Once you have the name entered in, simply push the next button. This is where I pick which model I'm trying to run this validation against. I have access to all my projects on BIM 360 or ACC. I can pick my project and then drill down and find the exact model located in a specific folder. I can simply add the model to the task by clicking on add this model. Or if there's a folder that you would like to monitor and any time that that model is updated and you want to run a validation against it, you can simply add the folder. I can either add just the main folder or I can add this folder in any subfolders that are inside of that. Once I've selected my files, I simply click the next button. This is listing out all the available validation queries that come with the program, along with any custom ones that you may have created. Simply select which one you want to use and push next. The trigger allows me to schedule when this task is to be run. I can run it now, I can run it once later, or I can set a reoccurring event up to schedule it to make it reoccurring. This one I'll do reoccurring and I'll set it weekly and I'll do it on Wednesday and I'll tell it to run at 2.30 a.m. The next button will allow you to set the options. The Revit version will automatically look at the model and determine which version it is. If there's a specific version you're wanting to use, you can select that as well. 
You can also choose to export the report in an Excel format. When doing that, you can combine all reports into one if there's multiple files selected. You can also choose to export the report to HTML. And then you can specify the location of the, of the export. You can do it in the same folder as the model. You can do it in a subfolder or a single location for all exports. You can also choose whether or not you want to append the timestamp or overwrite existing files if the report is run more than once. I've got an option to, to email me each time this task is completed and to attach the export of reports in the email. The summary gives me a summary of my task. If I'm satisfied with everything that I've set up, I can simply hit Save and Run to save the task. So managing and setting up tasks inside your Autodesk validation tools for docs is pretty simple. Once you have them set up, they should run without any complications.